Hello friends. Let's learn about uh, SQL clause processing problems. Practically, the theory section I have already covered. The link for that video is available in this video description. You can go through it first uh, to understand uh, what is SQL clause uh, processing problems. And uh, there are two types of traps, uh, SQL traps, which happens like uh, fan trap and chask traps. So which has which is uh, uh, based on the relationship or joins between the tables. Um, it, it may give incorrect results when we query the data. So we need to identify manually uh, these uh, traps first means when we develop the data foundation and then we need to uh, resolve that as well. So there are different ways to resolve the uh, chance uh, traps and um, fan traps. So in this video, let's learn about the chance traps first. Uh, so, so this is the data foundation which is having the client um, uh, table with uh, join with the rental uh, cell and so this is again a cell uh, table which is uh, for um, allies table of the cell which is for rental and this is for uh, sales data so if you see if you, the relationship or the cardinality between if you see it is one to n so this table is having one to n uh, relationship and this again uh, having one to n relationship so it is like one to many and one to many again so this is one one type of uh, issue means it can cause a issue let's see means how we can uh, i'll show you means what is the issue means i have created this um, a business layer based on this uh, uh, three tables joined uh, as a data foundation so if you see means um, uh, there are th uh, these many objects I have created for just to understand one is client name which is coming from the client last name and first name. Sale date is coming from sale date. Rental date is coming from sale date. And then sales revenue is again it, it is for sales data and uh, rental revenue is uh, rental, uh, rental data. Okay, so let's understand means what is the issue means when, when such type of joints are there means how we can uh, means what how, how the issues are there let's see miss uh, i am just adding a, a client name and um, sales revenue i'm just refreshing it i'm uh, one more thing i'll be doing means i'll be adding a one uh, filter here for one of the uh, client let's say means uh, for brand flop paul will say means we'll uh, see the uh, results so now if you see this is an example means where the sales revenue for Brent Paul is is um, like this um, 315964 so now if I uh, what I'll do I'll uh, and I'll just remove the sales revenue I'll add a rental revenue as well and just uh, refresh it if you see 1100 is a rental revenue for this uh, uh, client okay now if i go uh, again and add a sales revenue here and rental revenue and uh, do a refresh if you see these values are getting changed so it is coming like a double the values are got, got doubled uh, this rental revenue is also 1100 has one got doubled and this has been also got doubled so this is an issue miss uh, because of this menu to one relationship so um, let's go back means how we can uh, resolve this so this uh, we need to uh, we need to make this um, different different paths. So for that purpose, what we need to do, we need to uh, uh, define the context to resolve this. Means uh, we need to specify the context. So how we can uh, detect the context? So there is an option means in the Alison context means detect context. So once you click on this, there are two um, contexts which is for rental and sell. You can just click on uh, select uh, both select and uh, click on OK. So just to accept it. Now if you see this rental, rental is again means whatever the is green line means it is rental, rental to client and this sale is uh, sale is client to sell. So this is a, a separate path which got created if you uh, see here as well. Uh, so this this rental will have this excluded means we can ex for this rental we can make it as a ex exclude excluded this we can just edit this for a rental we we don't need a sales type this is excluded and uh, we can include this as well so if you see these two type uh, joints 
for sales as well uh, we can exclude uh, rental side and uh, we can um, so sales type uh, we can just include and rental type uh, we can just exclude so this is the way in which we can do it and now if you see this is this is the one and for sale this is the other uh, part so now once we save this and if you go back and uh, we can check the query here uh, let's uh, go back and if we refresh it the values are corrected now because we have specified the context uh, for this uh, just uh, this this uh, both this table so that means this this has been avoided this this table is has, has been avoided means when there is an value got added there also means what we can do means um, if we remove this as well means one by one if we check as well means this values are same means and let's see this now uh, if I add sales revenue as well as the values will be same okay so this is the use of this um, context means this is the way we uh, resolve the um, this chasm uh, traps uh, by using a context method so um, i hope you have understood this concept if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, context method or if you have not understood then please uh, put it in a comment section if you like my video then please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel as well um, thank you for watching